What is up guys? Today we are going to walk through an entire push workout using resistance bands and this is part of a three-part video series for the push, pull, and legs workout split. All right, so let's get started. It's push day. That means we're doing everything push. So we're gonna be working chest, we're gonna be working shoulders, and we're gonna be working triceps. First exercise is going to be a standing chest fly and we're gonna use a middle anchor point. What I'd like to use on this is a pair of anchors that are about arms width apart so that we can get a good force vector pulling on our chest muscles in the right direction. I like to use it, these wall anchors, you can use door anchor straps or a squat rack or whatever you can find to set up something similar to this. I'm gonna grab a pair of 41 inch resistance bands, loop them around my anchor point, nice and simple. And then I use, I love to use a pair of clench band handles on this because it makes it super comfortable. They're really easy to just pop right into my resistance bands. And then we're right into the exercise. All right, we're gonna be doing three sets here. First set, I want you to be doing 15 to 20 reps Second set, we're gonna be doing 12 to 15 reps and I want you to bump that resistance up a little bit or take a step further away from the wall. And then your, first, your last set, third set, should be the working set. We're going to be doing eight to 10 reps there and I want you to bump that resistance up again and that's for all the marbles. I want you to really go hard and those eight reps should be very tough to get. So doing this exercise, like I said before, we're gonna stretch out these, uh, scapula or pull the scapulas all the way back, stretch the arms out, get that chest opened up. And then we're just gonna be squeezing it together, trying to touch our biceps to our pec muscles. That's the favorite cue that I've learned over the year that's really gotten the connection, at least in my mind, is to squeeze them biceps into those pecs and then open it all the way up and control that stretch. You wanna maximize that stretch on the muscle and then get that full contraction all the way through. And these bands are just so smooth and that progressive resistance. So it's gonna be lightest on the outside here of the rep. And then as I squeeze it together, it's gonna get heavier and heavier. And then peak contraction at the top, hold it for a little bit and then let it down nice and slow. It's all about control. And then don't let off the tension. Like I don't want these bands to be flopping during the rep. They should be tight with hot, good tension all the way through. Next exercise, we are going to be doing a resistance band chest press. So what you're going to need is a single 41 inch resistance band. You're probably gonna want a few different bands so that you can pyramid up or down in resistance as needed. We're going to be doing three sets here. The first two sets, I want you to do 15 rep first set, around 12 reps for the second set. And then for the third set, we're gonna be doing something special called a rest pause set, which is basically like three little mini sets all stacked together. And I'll explain that in a minute. To set the exercise up, it's super easy. I like to use a bench. You could do these standings, but I like to do a, be to do a bench because it gives me more control and it feels more like a bench press. Um, and then I grab my 41 inch band. I love the clench band handles here. So what I do is I pop one handle in and then I string it around my back. And then I pop the other handle in on the other side, just like that. And then I hike this band up, basically try to get it up as high as possible on my back. And the higher that I can get it up there, the less torque that it's gonna put on my shoulders. That's one thing that I've learned kind of over the years of doing these is that this chest press is super challenging to do with bands to get the, the exercise to feel right. And I found that hiking that band up as high as possible into the small of my back here really helps to take that shoulder torque out. And then laying down on the bench, it's just like doing a bench press, gets your feet planted firmly into the floor. I like to squeeze my glutes and drive through the hips. And then as I'm doing this press, I'm gonna come down, get some tension, and then squeeze it all the way up. Same form cue as before, as you're going up, trying to squeeze those biceps into those pec muscles. Exhaling on the way up. Really squeezing it, focusing on that contraction. Nice hold at the top. Couple seconds on the eccentric or the negative portion of this rep. 
and it's all about control here. And that is how we do the bench press with a pair of clench band handles. One thing I'd like to explain now is kind of the rest pause set. So once you get to that third top set, you're gonna use the same resistance level that you used in set number two. And we're gonna be doing like three mini sets. So when you get to that set three rest pause, you're basically gonna do one set to failure until you can't do any more reps. And then you're gonna take a 15 deep breath break. Then you're gonna do immediately right after that, another set to failure until you can't do any more reps. Then another 15 deep breath break. And then you follow it with the final set to failure. And what it should look like for this is probably something like 12, six, three. You, you wanna get close to around 20 reps total between those three little sets. And then if you start getting beyond the 20 reps total, I want you to bump that resistance up. So that's how you can track your progress and really build through this. One final tip is if you don't wanna use the resistance band handles, or you find it to be uncomfortable, or you want something that's even more similar to a bench press, I find that using like a steel bar or a tube, something smooth that basically looks just like a barbell, but it, you know, it doesn't have to have all the sleeves and everything on it. And then you can basically just take that band, slip it on one side and then slip it around and hook it up and then do the same thing as before. Try to get that band hiked up as high as possible and then put the band on the inside of your hands so that when you grip it, you're, you're at about that, that shoulder width grip, that comfortable grip. And then when you lay down, it's the same thing as before, but now we actually have a solid bar here and we have decent tension at the bottom. When we're squeezing up, squeezing those biceps into our pecs. And that's an alternative way to do the chest press. All right, next exercise, we are gonna be doing a super set. So it's basically two exercises in one. We're gonna be doing incline push-ups with the resistance band, and then we're going to be doing high anchor fly. So to do a super set, you're gonna do the first exercise, which is incline push-ups. You're gonna do a set of those, and then you're gonna jump out of that, and then you're immediately gonna go over to the second exercise and do a set of that. And then from there, you take a break, just like you normally would between sets, and then start over again. So it's basically two exercises paired together, done consecutively with a break in between. And we're doing three sets of eight to 10 reps. For the incline push-ups, I'm gonna use the same bench that I was using for my chest press. And then I'm going to grab a resistance band here, wrap it around my back, similar to how I did it with the chest press. And then I just like to tuck it around my thumbs. We're not gonna be using as much resistance here for the incline push-ups as we were for the chest press. And getting this set up, I like to be just inside of shoulder width here so that I can get really good contraction. And then you wanna get yourself out full extension here on your arms. And then we're gonna be pulling ourselves into this flat plank position where our spine's neutral and we're just basically one nice long neutral line from our ankles all the way up to our neck. And then you're gonna go down into the bench. Don't just, don't rest, let all the tension off and flop on the bench. Just go down, touch your chest on the bench and then squeeze it back up, pushing with those chest muscles. Exhaling on the way up. And again, we're driving those biceps into the chest muscles and keeping it nice and controlled with a big squeeze at the top and a slow and controlled negative. And you should really feel this. This is gonna target kind of that mid to low chest and really help you fill up those chest muscles. And then right after this, we're gonna jump into our high anchored fly, which is also gonna target that mid to low chest. And to do these, same as before with the flies, we step out, we get tension. Now we have the, the high anchor is pulling us up and we're gonna fly this down, sticking our chest out, nice big proud chest and squeezing it at the bottom, driving those biceps into the side of our chest and just squeezing it out. Nice and controlled. And same thing here, eight to 10 reps. So make sure that you set your resistance accordingly. And by the time you get to that second and third superset, I want you getting all the way, like you should be quite fatigued and really having to struggle to get those 
eight reps out. All right, next exercise, we're gonna be doing some mid delt here. We're doing lateral raises with bands, and I'm gonna be using my favorite tool, the clench foot plate and a pair of clench band handles, as well as a couple sets of, a couple pairs of 41 inch resistance bands. Uh, you don't necessarily need the foot plate or the handles to do these. You can always just stand on the band and do the exercise, but this makes it a lot more convenient and a lot more comfortable as well as quicker in between sets so that you can spend more time exercising. So to set this up, I like to just wrap a couple of bands right around the outside handles of the foot plate. And then I lock in my clench band handles. And then we're going to cross these over just like you would with a cable crossover. I thread one through the other. And now we can just stand on our foot plate and we're doing the side lateral raise here. So you wanna make sure that you have tension here at the bottom of the rep. If not, you can always wrap the bands around the handles to give yourself some more tension. And then we're just doing lateral raises, raising up, driving up those elbows, basically so that they're horizontal from our shoulders, all the way up and controlling it on the way down. Remember, this is just a warm up set. We're gonna get 20 reps for the first one. And then I'm gonna bump that resistance up and then we're gonna shoot for around 15 for set two. And then set three, I really want you to push. So it's very, it can be very difficult to go up in resistance on these lateral raises because your shoulders are often a little bit weaker and the steps between bands can be kind of large. So what I would recommend is you can either wrap the band around the handles multiple times to give yourself more tension, or you can stack a couple of bands together. Like this is one that I do all the time. I'll stack an orange and a red together. And that's not quite as heavy as the next step up from the red, which is the black. But honestly, for that third set, we bumped the reps down to eight to 10. So we went 20, 15, and then eight to 10. And the reason I did that is so that you can focus on trying to increase that load. Even if you only get six to eight reps, that's going to help you drive up that strength in this exercise over time. All right, next exercise, we are gonna get into some more shoulders. We're doing an overhead press. So you're gonna need a single 41 inch band. We're gonna do this seated. So I'm using the same bench that we use for the other exercises. So we're gonna do two sets of 12 to 15 reps as basically a warm up, And then our final set, the working set, is going to be a drop set. And I'll show you how to do that when we get there. For the first two sets, you're gonna grab yourself a band, something that you can do that 12 to 15 rep range, hook it around your back side, just, uh, just below your butt to hook it in. And then I like to sit right on the bench, get comfortable, and then to find your like happy medium on this band, I kinda go, just beyond shoulder width apart. And then I just hook my thumbs underneath of the band and then I press it up and then we're just pressing it overhead and bringing it nice and down just around of our nose line and then back up, focusing on a big reach at the top and really squeezing it. You'll feel it more in your delts when you do it that way and then control it on the way down big squeeze, let it down nice and slow. And then we're cranking out 12 to 15 reps of that form. Now for that last set, we're, like I said, we're doing a drop set and we're gonna do, basically it's three little mini sets and to do the drop portion of it, we're gonna actually drop the resistance between the main, the, the three little sets. So for this last set, grab, the, grab what, the resistance that you did in your second set and we're gonna do 10 reps and then after we get to 10, you're just gonna drop it, grab the, the next smallest band, which in our case is the purple, hook it around, load it up, and then you're just gonna do another bout to failure here. And you should be targeting right around eight reps. So once you get eight reps, then we're gonna drop the resistance again. In our case, it'd be the black band. You loop it up sit down and then hit one more uh, little mini set there to failure. And we're trying to go to right, right around six reps would be that target. But that what that's gonna do is just really tear up those shoulders and you're gonna have a huge pump by the time you get done. And then we're gonna move on to the next exercise.
All right, next exercise, we're getting into triceps. We are going to be doing a cross body tricep extension. So you're gonna grab yourself a high anchor point. I like to use two of them, just like a cable crossover machine and two 41 inch bands. So we can do this exercise bilaterally. I'll show you that first. So to set this up, two high anchor points, two 41 inch bands, and then we're going to grab basically, I don't know, two thirds of the way down this band to get some tension here. And then making sure that we're grabbing equal amounts of band on both sides so we get the same resistance between right and left. And then we're just gonna step into this, pin those elbows into our side. And then all we're doing is extending out at the out, pivoting only at the elbow, extending out, extend your arm straight, big squeeze, and then control it all the way up, making sure we have tension on the band the entire time. Big squeeze all the way down, and then let it up nice and slow. And what you should notice here is the bands, to, to make sure you're the right distance away from the wall and you got the right amount of forward lean, when you, when you come through and fully extend, that X that the bands make to just tap your chest, then you know you're in the right spot. And also you wanna make sure you're rolling those shoulders back, pinning those elbows into the side, and we're just pivoting at the elbow. I don't wanna see pivoting here around the shoulder joint, moving that humerus because that is not isolating the tricep. We wanna stick this thing stuck to our side. Humerus is not moving, only pivoting at the elbow. And if you can't do these with two anchor points, you can certainly do them with one and just do one arm at a time. Same way as what we were doing before, but now we're just gonna do one arm at a time. You do your left arm and then you switch sides and you do your right arm. For this, we're going to be doing three sets and I want you to be basically pyramiding down in reps and going up in resistance as much as you can. So we're doing three sets. First set is 15 reps. Second set is target around 12 reps. And then your third set is the heavy set. I want you going right around that six to eight rep range and really grinding out those reps, keeping that form just like I mentioned. And you will notice these guys, this is probably one of my favorite tricep exercises. All right, last exercise. Finally, we're at the end of this push day. We are going to burn out our triceps doing some bench dips. So I'm gonna use that same bench that I was using throughout this workout. And we're gonna do some dips for the triceps. To set this up, I like to get my hands just outside of my hips here. And then I'm pinning my elbows into my sides. And then we're gonna get ourselves off of this bench so that we can do basically a dip so to do this, I'm gonna get my heels out here, pulling my core nice and tight, keeping my spine neutral, and then we're just gonna drop down. And if you need to walk your legs out a little bit more to get deep, go ahead. But you wanna make sure to get as much elbow flexion as possible without causing pain so that you get some good stretch on those triceps. And then we're just gonna squeeze it back up. And we're gonna be going for 20 reps here. So this is just a big burner. And if it feels too heavy, you can always just kind of scoot back in and lower that range of motion just a little bit so that you can get the right resistance for yourself. And again, we're doing two sets of 20 reps. And if you need more resistance, you can always add a resistance band over your shoulders, down to your hands, just kind of how we did it with the push-ups. So you have flexibility here to go up and down in resistance a little bit to help you get to this exercise accomplished. All right, you guys, this is the end of the workout. If you liked the push workout today, please be sure to smash that like button. If you wanna see the rest of the push pull legs video series, be sure to check out the on-screen video links. I'll put a link to that playlist with the push pull leg series so that you can do this entire series. Also, if you need any of the equipment shown today, be sure to head over to clenchfitness.com. We will hook you up and thank you for watching.